tell you what, I'm loving this Polish vibe. <laughs> Their food is spot on, lovely, cosy, comfort food. The booze, punchy, oh, delicious. Not Straven yet. store um, which is a dumpling a Polish dumpling um, filled with lovely all kinds of lovely fillings um, what have we gone for Corin? so we have gone for two cabbage and mushroom two cabbage and mushroom we've got some spinach and feta in the green yeah and then underneath is lentil and dry tomato oh and they cover them with fried onions yeah look really oh. juicy and delicious so, so what are you going for to start with i'm going to try first cabbage and mushroom cabbage and mushroom mm. let's have a good bite wow is that good you're gonna love this oh yeah it just melts in your mouth the filling is all sumptuous and gooey oh and the flavour, I don't know, it's just exactly right. Oh, right. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but it's just the most delicious little pocket of comfort mm. food. Wow. Mm, I love that. Right, we're now going for the lentil and tomato. Cheers. 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 It's like ragu or like the raviolis used to be out by. Yeah, and you've got like really a mealiness of the lentils. Meaty, mealy, mm. a creamy. Those those um, dumplings are just like creamy in your mouth, they fall apart. Ooh. Crazy. Very nice. They're so tasty. Tell you what, I'm addicted to these traditional Polish smoked um, they're smoked uh, goat's cheese aren't they? They are. And you get cranberry sauce on them. These are, oh, I'll tell you what I'm having a Mark Wiens moment when I'm eating these. Smokiness is so intense. And they're sweet as well. Chewy on the outside, creamy on the inside. They are absolutely lovely. I can eat these all day. I will miss these when I get back to the UK. Absolutely delicious with a bit of cranberry sauce on. Mm. 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 Got to try these when in. When in Poland, lovely. We've now stopped for a bit of lunch. Um, we've ordered the red beet soup, which is traditional in Poland. And we've got to try it. Looks really healthy. Really thin. Lovely sweetness, but it's uh, got like a little onion-y flavour as well to it. But it's, um, oh, it's very warmish. You know, a few spoonfuls of this. Yeah, sweet. Oh wow! Good. I didn't expect it to be that delicious. That's really tasty. <laughs> Like when we had the pumpkin soup yesterday, <clears throat> and this one today, they're very, they're very thin, but they're so yeah, thin, but they're just so Moorish. Yeah. We've ordered the lakers, which are like traditional Polish potato rosties with a mushroom cream sauce. Look at these, absolutely beautiful. Lovely, they're all homemade with a mushroom sauce. Look at that mushroom sauce down there. Right. 
lovely and crispy. Compliments that. That is delicious. Creamy mushrooms. They like mushrooms here, don't they? Yeah, cabbage and mushrooms. Mm. Mm. You're exactly right. I thought they were good on their own, but with the sauce, it just brings them even more alive. Yeah. That creamy aromas of the mushroom. Yeah. Um, softness and contrast with the crispy. Mmm, delicious. Mm. When in Poland, you've got to try this potato lakkers. Zapakanki. We can't go to the end of the trip without trying one of the Zapakankis. After everyone's had a drink at the end of the night, they get one of these, half of a baguette. Choose what sauces you want, cheese, meat, whatever. We've gone for the four cheese with the garlic sauce. I'm gonna go for a bite. Comfort food. I'm loving that. Garlic butter, four trees, garlic sauce. What's the baguette like? Crunchy. Lovely and crunchy. Is it light? Yeah. It's huge as well. Look at the size of that. Put your hand against it, your other hand. Wow. You know, for a couple of pounds, you know. Can't go you wrong. Can't go wrong. Mm. Look at this. Have some. Here we are again. This is my sixth smoked goat's cheese. It's going to be my last of the week. It's been delicious. I'm going to miss these. Bye-bye, mm. goat's cheese. Oh. Oh.